It goes that, to the heart of the issue before us, and that is the fact that the Supreme Court of the United States of America has not established code of conduct and ethical standards that in and of themselves are trustworthy. When this matter came before this committee several weeks ago, there were dissenters on the other side, on the Republican side, as to whether or not this was even worthy of talking of. In fact, the D.C. Circuit case decided that in a case in 1994 concerning Congressman Rose. No separation of powers problem. And the core function of the courts is to decide cases impartially. Independence can be helpful to that, but independence is not an end in itself. An independent judge or an independent judiciary could be a dishonest judge or a dishonest judiciary. And therefore, a delicate balance has to be struck between the interests of independence in assuring that judges, like every public official and other, every citizen in the country, is somehow accountable. And the financial disclosure statute that you enacted and the Judicial Conference has a responsibility to properly implement uh, is an important and appropriate element of that uh, accountability.